Thanks for joining. During this short video I'll be giving an overview of Quaff and showing some of the features. I'll also be demonstrating how to extract uh, some product data and product prices from a website. So after you register you can log on straight away because with Quaff we give you free credits each month. So if you log on the first thing you need to do if you want to mine a website is you need to paste in the URL, the address of the, the site you want to extract data from. Then you load that into the Quaff browser. It gets loaded in an, uh, as a configuration view. Um, you've got other options there to see it in more browser friendly or see the raw HTML if you require. So what we're going to do is extract the product and price data from this table. So if we take the um, first value, so the error cool, but you can copy and paste it in if you like, and just put 78. So we give a starting reference point. So then before you actually start you need to actually tell Quaff which type of scan we're going to do in this instance we're going to retrieve between values and use a range so that means we're actually going to create a table look at a table um, if you want to uh, uh, monitor say a, a, a uh, stock market report or stock market value or a weather report or something you can just use a retrieve between values where you're just interested in one value but because we're interested in table, we'll look at the range. So once we enter our values, Craft will go off and look at the website and uh, extract and highlight values that that we it thinks that we might be interested from. So we just select which ones that uh, from the highlight text on the drop downs, which ones are appropriate. Right, that should be in the second one. Then we just accept those values and then we need to give it an end point. And this point it's the cooler. Uh, and just you can type 89. Once again, you quite will go off and check the site. And then we select which ones we're interested in, which in this case it's the third description and there's only one value with the 89. So we accept that and then we save that value. Once we save it you see it's been added onto our list of saved uh, um, sessions. So we can now test that. So we can go to our test, our test harness where we can run reports online and uh, there are a number of options in here where you can uh, configure Quaff to how it looks at some of the tests if you need to remove characters for example you've got options there to remove or change positions where it's how the scan is, is performed depending on how your results look so I mean removing characters might be useful if you uh, I don't know, you want to remove something from the output field which is you don't particularly want. The project is enables you to allocate a, uh, a URL to a project so you can then test or schedule a project as opposed to each individual URL so it actually saves you some time. In this case we haven't created a project or added to a project so we need to select a single URL test we're going to test that particular URL we just created and then we start the test, the run. So there we have it. Craft has gone off and looked at that website and extracted the product data and the price. Um, you've then got various options there. You could actually save it to a database, the XML or CSV for Excel or an RSS type file. RSS is probably better suited for when you if you're monitoring a specific value such as a, 
a stock item or a, um, a weather report for bad weather or something like that but um, it's up to you how you um, what suits your requirements so so that gives a basic quick overview of how quick and easy it is to mine a and extract data from a website um, there are various other ways of, of doing as I've said the the selecting a, a particular value but the, the examples of those are, are in other videos um, just a quick rundown on some of the other features you can see we keep track of the, all your websites that you've, you've loaded any projects, we haven't created any projects um, the values that you've, you've created for mining a particular site is the one we just set up we maintain a log of all activity in the system um, that your sessions that you've done a, we maintain a schedule so you can actually uh, allocate a URL or a project and schedule that either individually or through the project um, there is an API facility where you can submit um, Quaff will actually look for a, um, an XML input files and uh, action the uh, the extraction process based on the XML input and we keep track of any accounts so if you've purchase additional credits it keeps track of those and uh, you can see those and any of your free credits there are other facilities there so if you have many um, uh, sort of URLs and uh, sessions you can search for particular items and load those in um, so yeah um, so that's a, a brief overview of Quaff and um, how to extract data product data from a website um, there are other videos so maybe I'll uh, hope to see you in another video thanks uh, for watching and goodbye